Hello and welcome back to Impossible Bromance Series 2. I am Mal and I'm once again joined by the illustrious El Capitan Sabouts. Hello, my friend. Hello, hello. <laughs> so we got we got kind of an interesting start here. I mean, it's kind of been a little bit of a mixed bag in terms of what planets are available. Um, but but all in all, it's okay-ish, right? I mean, yeah, I think that we're I think we're in a good spot right now. I don't think we're doing bad. Yeah, I think it's yeah, I think we're doing okay. All things considered, I feel all right with it. We got a colony ship here. I need to find out where I want to put it. I guess I can get a research planet going. That would be my best bet. Considering how we've got the game set up, yeah. The that special the whole specialized planet thing is going to be I think a little bit more important in this series than maybe it has been in with stuff we've done in the past. Yeah, I totally agree. And I I mean, you know, normally we play on slow. Uh but very slow is very slow. Like that's like no joke. Like, there seems to be a pretty big difference between slow and very slow. Exactly. Which is cool. Yeah. And which is cool. I I honestly I like it. I just I really think I mean, cuz if you think about it, even if tech is moving kind of slow, I mean, it's not like it it's not like it ruins the game. I I, th I honestly think it enhances it. It just m makes it more enjoyable to get tech. Well, and also, you know, you and I have talked about this before. It, when you start having conflicts, it's cool to have um, different techs, particularly weapon techs, be relevant for a while versus immediately being worthless. Exactly. Yep. Like I built a brand new cruiser and it's got fancy weapons. And then like four turns later, you get some new weapon tech and you're like, those cruisers suck now. And it's like, that. it just feels, I don't know. There's something diminishing about it. Whereas if you do, like you said, have it where, you know, the tech really, you know, is of value when you get it, it makes a big difference. Exactly. You know, you're not just, you're not just like getting the tech to get it. it you're actually got to really think about where you want to go in the tech tree too, instead of just like completely deforesting the tech tree, you know, just taking everything. Right. Right. Yeah, I'm just gonna grab everything because reasons. Yeah, you exactly. Have to think about it. You've got to. You actually, it it forces you the path to choose. You know, do I want to go heavy on uh, different uh, buildings and technologies that are gonna boost my economy? Do I want to focus military? Do I want to focus diplomatically, economically, um, research wise? You've really gotta play the game and not just float through it to be able to actually manipulate a you know a very slow research state. So I've got the Stargate on two colonies right now. Any luck? Well, I can't really test it yet because the two systems in question are a one jump warp point away from each other. Oh. So to really see the value, I need like my farther away colony to build one and then see how much better it is. Makes you sense. Know? Yep. And that'll really tell you. I probably invested in building that too soon, Ooh, told, but I'm so excited about it. I got biotechnology from an anomaly. What? Yeah. You lucky guy. Wow, that's... What, what the hell? That's, that's a find. That's a find. That gave me fungal farms. That right there just... Man. I'm telling right you there, what, dude. that slight little anomaly I just found in the beginning of the game just set the course for the whole game for me. Because I have the slow population growth. Fungal farms is a second tier technology yeah, second anyway. Tier bio, so yeah. it would have been it's easily nice. like 40 turns to research it. So, uh, so I got... What the, what the, what the game's too. telling you, what the game's telling you is that it knows that uh, it knows that you're a sexy beast. So it gave it to you. I, That's honest, what happened. Yeah. I, you know what? What happened? I wasn't even going to I wasn't even gonna question it. You weren't going to go right. there, but I mean, you know, you do what you got to do. Oh, I found the humans too. Oh, look. Giant squid, space bob squid. I found him. You, He's up in the far right hand corner. Were you, space bob squid is there. Are you calling the humans space bobs, <laughs> bob squid? No, 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 not the humans. I, f I found, I found a squid. I actually found a, the monster. Yeah. We'll have to kill him. Hold on. Let me. Uh, we'll share charts again. Yeah, your guy looks really cool. Like, oh, does way he? Cooler. Yeah, he looks badass in the diplomacy screen. 
Yeah, I like the way large, these guys look. They're pretty cool. Well, I just found a large ocean uh, ultra pore. Uh, oh, no. Well, I guess it could be a good research world. And there's a medium tundra pore there with it. Maybe this is going to be a... This could be my research system, perhaps. Yeah. Pirate fleet detected. Oh, up there. Okay. Keep having to build ships for basically to deal with the pirates, which I guess is okay. I'm just those tricky pirates. They are a little. They are a little bit of a pain in the ass. But I guess it's worth it. I destroyed a pirate base down in Morok too, and got plus one population to that colony. So hey, not they bad. They are valuable. Though. They are valuable for that. That just for getting pop. Yeah, that extra population boost from those pirates it makes a difference. It really does. Especially considering how long, even even though we've got fast growth enabled, it it does take quite a while for us to grow. What do we got here? Giant space dragon discovered. And yeah, there's all kinds of monsters on this map. Well, yeah, large map. Yeah. Actually, this is kind of cool. I've never played um, a full game on a large map in Master of Orion, and that's saying something considering how much Master of Orion I've played. Um, I like that. I like the fact that we also are using the No Wormholes mod. Oh, yeah. That was the best decision we could have made on the whole playthrough. <laughs> I've explored a, a pretty large section of the northeastern part of the map, and I haven't run into anyone else. Uh, yeah, the humans are the only ones I ran into. Where are they at? Um, they are in the the southeast. I, I just got hydroponic farms and biospheres. Nice. From an anomaly. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. There we go. The, nice. The game is trying to tell us something. Trying to help us out. It's trying to help us out. Oh, large swamp abundant with dark quartz. Oh, sold. Whoa. Sold. That'll be the next next colony for my peoples. And I use peoples loosely since, you know, we're giant roaches or whatever. <laughs> I mean, you're pretty much filthy tyranids, Xenos, so... Okay, so the humans... I wonder why we shared charts, why it didn't show that. Where are they in relation to you again? Oh, because I just found them. Just. We can share charts again. Oh, okay. That then. Uh, and there's... Uh, Maybe. There's no update on your side for share charts. Oh, well, well, never mind. Where? Okay. Where are they, though? They're southeast. They're southeast. Okay. Then where's everyone else? I guess out on the... Oh, they must be... Oh, okay. So this is part of the whole large map thing. There's actually, like, four rings. I didn't I didn't realize, like, large map is no joke. Yeah. These other guys are out on the outer rings. Yeah, I... I believe it. Huh. That's interesting, though, right? Looks like humans started kind of at my level. How are the humans doing? Score wise, not bad, but we're way better conquest victory wise. Take a look here. Not that it matters so much early game, but I do like to keep an eye on all of that because I find it interesting. Plus, then I can know too how quick they're moving. Let's see, let me look at timeline graph. One of the good things to look at is colony growth. I can't see anyone else though. Yeah, it'd be nice to find them so that we can gauge it. Yeah, it looks yep. like we're. I mean, I mean, we're behind, but we're not nearly as behind as we were, you know, in the last time we did this. Yeah, exactly. We're we, doing pretty well. It seems overall. to be holding better for us this time. Move you guys back.
Well, I'm I'm I don't want to jinx us, but I'm feeling semi comfortable with uh, I just met the humans. It looks like yeah. Okay, good. I, I'm feeling semi comfortable with our start here. I'm I'm okay with it. I'm I'm not. I don't feel bad about where we started. <laughs> like cost, we're both like hedging our bets. Like, I know. Oh, <laughs> kind of. We're sort of. We're okay. We're I all think. right. I think we're gonna be okay. Everybody everything's because as soon as you say something good about it that's when it all just like <laughs> folds yeah, it in goes on to itself hell. yeah oh wow the ai already put in a military outpost i see the pretty standard reaction for them though yeah right out in the beginning yeah you know hunting down pirate bases i'm hunting them down man oh bring them down that's what i say I need, I've almost got government. Going for that research laboratory plus the morale. After we're done with basic stuff, we should run up to um, Xena Relations so you and I can start swapping stuff. Yeah, early, I agree. Because once we start doing things like advanced magnetism and molecular manipulation, it'd be nice to be able to share tech. Yep, and I need to go for automated factory soon. It's hurting me not having that. Yeah, I'm gonna finish government. Yeah, I'm gonna finish government, and I'm gonna do all these baseline things. So I'm gonna do government, then I'm gonna do engineering, and then I'm gonna, I think, research Xeno you know, relations after that. Yep. And since neither one of us has the uncreative thing, we don't have the same challenges as we did last time. Get over here. Oh, what's this? Just ran into an Alarian colony ship. Oh, and guess what? Oh. Guess what? That Alarian colony ship is going to die. Oh, 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 so early? Oh my goodness! If it if it doesn't. If it doesn't immediately colonize one of these um, planets in this system, I'm going to block this this waypoint on the far side. If it immediately colonizes, then I'm going to sit on it and blockade it. If it if it um, I'm sorry if it, yeah if it does I'm going to blockade it. If it doesn't I'm going to destroy it. Ah, uh, he moved back. No, oh. <laughs> I would have okay, loved to have seen just, it blow up. Going to follow him. I think my ship's faster than his. I might be able to catch him. Okay, so I've discovered them. They are on the. They are basically center, far galactic east. Okay. They're on the right on the rim. Okay, that's good to know. Hear that with you and see if if that pops up for you. Yeah, it's just weird playing on this larger map. I'm not. I'm not used to. I'm used to playing with a bunch of AIs like on a medium map and they're like all in our face right out of the gate. I know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I like this large map, though. I don't know why I just do. I think there's a lot of character to it with all the different races and stuff. Huh. According to this, they've already got a, a colony here. I'm going to go back and... Check that out. But yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking aggressive early if we can. Yeah, why not? Like I'm... like like go to war with somebody before turn 100 and wipe them. They give us a nice leg up if we can do it. Yeah, I'll need to start building up my fleet then a little bit. And I definitely got to get automated factories. Oh, I'm actually starting to have a pollution problem on my home world. Okay. All right. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. I don't have any pollution tech either. Ah, uh, I wish I could share it with you cuz I just got it. Oh, did you the first pollution tech? Yeah. Yep. 
That'd be alright. Who are over there? I'm going to get next colony up and running. And then I'm trying to decide, do I want to keep... Part of me says just keep pumping out colony ships. Another part of me says build some more military ships because I'm only 7 out of 21 in my command point cap. It's kind of what I'm pushing for now is another... I'm going to push for another colony ship, actually. A little... Well, boy, it's hard to say, actually, what's a good, what's a good route. But if I felt more if I felt more threatened, I would go ahead right now and build more military ships, but I at the moment I I don't. I think I'm gonna I, that might be stick with, that might be a false sense of security. I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with building colony ships because I really wanna like expand out and get my borders secured. I don't wanna get stuck. Right, yeah. Understood. Oh, I got a population boom on one of my planets. That's nice. Population boom's always nice. I'd love to get one of those right now. Oh, did you just get that? That's cool. It's on a planet nearby, but it's not really... I could colonize it. It's in Wolf. 359? Yeah. Okay, let's see. I got some more pop growth going on here, so that's nice to see. We're exploring. Six turns for my next colony ship. Okay. And now the news. Wow. Oh, I met the squids. Oh, did you? Yep, the Trillarians. They now control five systems. Wow. I saw that. They're moving quick. Yeesh. Okay. They are definitely moving quick. I'll give them that. Okay, so they're in the top northwest corner. Your church with you. Oh, crap. Where's my frigate? Not close enough. Got a pirate heading towards my home system, but I'll just go ahead and pump out a freighter real quick and deal with them. That's what I did a couple turns ago. Yep, just pump it out and deal with them real quick and be done with it. I was like, oh really? Alright, you want to tangle? We can tangle. I'd like to know where he came from. Hope he changed his mind about where he was going to. Okay, that's fine. I think I've kind of figured out where my borders are going to be. I'm still kind of in the air about it. 
Like, I have a general idea, ones. but... Yeah, it's hard to know. My my positioning's really kind of kind of rough because it's there's like there's no real there's like one system that's a decent choke point, but I don't really great. I don't really have any choke points, so I'm just gonna build like a regular border for the most part. Just militarize every outlying system then? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'll end up ultimately doing. There's not all too much I can do outside of that. I just don't have any good natural borders or choke points or anything. Oh wow, there's a system over here that's got five worlds in it, three of which have moons. Wow, I bet you that system's badass. Wow. Yeah, that's, 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 that's pretty sexy. It'd be really hard to defend, though, I think. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's a pocket system? No, I think it's connected to Wolf. Yeah, it is. I mean, if the Stargates work the way I expect them to, then I, I don't have to have perfect. I can kind of have yeah. the borders be. Yeah, have them wherever you want. Yeah. I think what I'm going to do is, and I'm asking you because obviously it affects you too. There's one decent choke point in Pernus, which is just south of where the Trillarians are. And... If I forward settle there, it's definitely going to piss them off. But it's the only decent natural choke point I have in the area. Or I can colonize one system back from there. But I I say forward settle them. We did it really. You, yeah, you did it last game, and we didn't really come into any issues. Remember? Yeah. You settled yeah. super close to the Nolans, and they didn't. Honestly, they didn't really seem to care. All right, I'm going to do it then. And I'm going to send some frigates up there to guard the colony ship. I mean, it's like in their fi it's like basically I you could, you know, I could have dudes like in spacesuits on top of ships like shooting the middle finger at them and they'd be able to see it. That's how close <laughs> it is. Like hello. <laughs> shooting off. Or do or do the whole jack in a box thing like ding 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 ding, ding as oh, the middle finger yeah. goes up. Shooting off fireworks as they roll in, waving your nation's flag. <laughs> I'm going to send all the military I have over there then for now. The what yeah, and it does work, by the way. It works exactly. The Stargates work exactly like the jump gates. Oh, love it. Because I'm going from uh, Morach 2 to uh, Tamek Prime, and it's just it's going straight to it and bypassing the other systems. I love Perfect. it. I love it. Yeah, that, that, that was worth two points, in my opinion. Yeah, and if I build a Stargate in that forward system, you're right. We can just move stuff around if we need to quickly. Yeah, exactly. That's the way I look at it. Because it's eight turns to get from my nearest colony to that new one that I'm going to forward settle. So with a Stargate, it's probably half that, four turns. Which is not bad at all, really. That pirate base. All right. Okay, are you pretty much wrapped up on this turn? I am, yeah. I actually, if you want to hit next turn, I actually hit next turn. Oh, okay. All right. And we can end it on that one. Yeah, then. that works.
He wants to pay me five credits for a human embassy. Uh, it's fine, I'll accept. It's yeah, fine. he offered me the same deal. I declined it because he's disgusting looking. Humans are nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I just accepted it because it's like it doesn't really matter. Yeah, that's a good point. I don't care. Might come into play later, but we'll see. Oh. I can buy one from him for five credits later. Found, All right, so... I found the uh, Cylons. Oh, did you? Where are they at? They are at the east. Really? Yeah. Okay. Here, let's share charts real quick. Oh, I don't like, think it works if you find... Yeah. They're in uh, they Romano. Ramono. Oh, that's west. Oh, I'm sorry. West, west. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. West. Okay. I meant west. So they're along that. So they're somewhere over there. Yeah, they're... Oh, what would it be? I mean, they're one... I bet you that blue-white star is Cylon, then. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it is. Okay, folks. Well, we're going to end this one here. We'll obviously continue in the next one. If you did enjoy it, please consider, hit, consider hitting that thumbs up. We're going to release new episodes every day at noon Eastern U.S. time. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, he's about. I'm Mal, and we'll see you later.